So how are you guys doing? Number one is that we need to um, put account ID there. So we find this page, which is accounts show dot blade. So on the accounts, we're looking at show, but uh, look at this account show. So we're gonna do this and put the ID, which is basically account ID. So if we refresh. It's shown there right so we now have to display the name of the user then we can delete this id so we're going to display the name of the user if we go to account um show fields the id is gone we've already put it outside so the name of the user remember we've already specified the relationship so we can now do name and it's beautiful we could also do colon email email so the name and the email is there beautiful we remove this as um it's not user id it's now a user and the, the balance remember we have to put dollar signs on this so we'll do a dollar sign on this guy a dollar sign on this guy and um last time on this guy and then refresh keep your eye here um we turn out again my server is the one messing up with this um constant logout so here we have um 1000 so we have to put number formats on them remember how we did before so we're gonna do a number format on them so we'll do number underscore formats so that they will be formatted properly I'll copy number format copy but I'll have to close the bracket here so for each one I come to I'll close the bracket um, close the bracket sorry Oops. I'll paste here then here I'll put close the bracket then paste beautiful so we come here and check again refresh so you should see a comma here you see there's no comma all right now um withdrawal method um good so we have to change this to withdrawal withdrawal method withdrawal 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 so it will display the withdrawal method withdrawal method um bank you see and then uh, what else bank account apply for payout so here we have to actually display applied for payout where is it applied for payout so here applied for payout is either one or zero so we need to uh, use an if statement to display a user-friendly message we do if applied for payouts is equal to one then display oops then display um yes otherwise display no what did i just type now display no then end it then we never really need to see the value of this beautiful and then the other thing is that i think it's so important you see having to apply for payout it feels that it's so important that we can we have to put it at the top here i don't know what you think but for me i think yeah it's that important so once you're looking at your profile straight up you should know whether you've applied for payout or not so one way to do that is to go to show blade and inside this a we can do um we can do small this is basic html just to give it a different color and a different size so we can now paste what we have here but instead of typing yes um we can just say applied application pending payout request pending request and then cool otherwise nothing so we're ending if so if somebody has applied for payout they should be able to see this but now we won't see it because the person has not applied but let's put it as zero so you'll see what it looks like then i'll return it to one refresh keep your eye at the top of this page and there 
payout request pending. Beautiful. So if I'm looking at any profile as an admin, if the person applied for payout, what I'll see directly is straight up payout request pending. Beautiful. Then the other thing we can do is um, just get it back to one so that it will only show when they've applied for payout. And then what else do we have remaining to fix on the page? Um, created, updated, um, order details. I think we have to make this number format. Uh, format. I hope you remember what formats look like just to make the dates look cool. So created, we're going to put dash format there. Then we'll choose to add any of the date formats. I like this one best. Month, year, then space, hour, minutes. So this is day in letters, day in figure, then like that. So I think we should do that here. Fix this guy here. And we'll refresh. Keep your eye around this place. Then we have to remove these black buttons. It makes sense now. So we have to, I think we should call it joined. Created joined. Makes sense. So we have to remove that back button. Come here, you'll see the back button on the show blade. The back button, you see it. So we have to remove it. And we're done. So see you in the next video. Let me refresh this. So we are gradually approaching the point where we will make this work like magic because we're going to integrate a, an external payment processor like PayPal or Stripe. So all these figures are automatically filled in by PayPal or Stripe. But first of all, we need to include the functionality that says pay. Once admin clicks on pay, it will level out, play out everything in balance and mark it as paid. You see, it's pay, paid is zero. Mark it as paid and then uh, introduce the last, last paid date. All right. So then we have to introduce another button that says apply. So once we're done with this tool, we're good with accounts.